Konnichiwa! So I've wanted to make this video for a long time. I want to talk about the possibilities of there being a remake, an HD release, or a complete new game in the series for The Getaway. As one of the original developers for both The Getaway and The Getaway Black Monday, I find it fascinating how people are so interested in the game nearly 20 years after its release. Now, if you're new to this channel, you love retro gaming, then why not consider subscribing by clicking a little button down below here. And if you enjoyed today's show, then why not leave us a thumbs up? My name's Mike, and this is The Retro Gamer Boy Show. <laughs> Now there have been a lot of stories in the press over the last six months about there being a brand new getaway in development. And funnily enough, most of these stories, if not all of them, come from a comment I left on one of my getaway videos, where I essentially acknowledge that I know people in the team and that I know they're working on a new game. But what the stories don't say is that I know that most game studios are working on a new game. I didn't know specifically that they're working on the getaway. And so today what I wanted to talk about is what are my personal thoughts on there being a brand new getaway or a getaway remake or even a getaway HD release. And those are the three things we're gonna cover in today's video. I'm also gonna give a little bit of information that I have about the getaway online. I worked on that title as well and it actually morphed into another product that did get released. So I'll show off some screenshots, there are very few that I have, and some of the textures that I made for the game. Morning sunshine, good to see you again. Do you sleep well? You look a little drowsy. Grievous, bring the boy around. I want his undivided attention. Now on the getaway I was one of the car artists and then on the getaway Black Monday I continued that role and I also designed some of the exterior missions. <laughs> Come here! Come here! I heard the cars in the getaway are bloody brilliant! If I agree with you, will you stop hitting me? And in making the cars, we were exposed to all aspects of the game. We had to deal with the characters, the world's environment, the narrative, we had to deal with licensing, we had to deal with marketing. There's a ton of things that in making the cars we had to be aware of. And it's because of that I think I've got a pretty well informed opinion on how I think any one of these three options, uh, HD, remake or continuation of this series could play out in 2021. To start off with, I want to talk about the possibility of there being an HD remake for the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. Now personally, I think an HD remake of The Getaway is probably the most unlikely version of The Getaway that we're going to get. Now technically, it's completely possible. We've seen HD versions of The Getaway, we can actually see it running on the PC in high quality. But the big problem that holds up an HD release of The Getaway is going to be the licensing. Now, a lot of London has changed since the getaway was made. A lot of companies have gone away, so you don't have to worry about those. But there are a lot of companies that are massive that are still in the game that may have objections to how we now use their brand in the game. Just take the cars, for instance. There's not many manufacturers that are going to be happy that we can drive around, smash up their cars, kill people in them, burn them and commit crimes in their vehicles. That alone is a big enough reason why the HD release is going to be challenging to push out. Even the clothes that the characters wear are a brand that we use to help elevate and promote the game as well as get some revenue into the product itself. You'd have to go and license all those clothes and brands and vehicles and shop fronts again and that is going to be super expensive. And the whole reason for an HD release is so that you can make the most money possible for the least amount of effort. So an HD release is going to be expensive and problematic. But what about a remake? Now a remake is certainly possible. You could take on things like the cars, the licensing of clothing, and completely do away with that. 
you could come up with imaginary cars, although that's not really the essence of the getaway. At the very least though, you could go and license brand new vehicles. You'd have none of the licensing issues we have with clothing or music all the external brands that you see within the game. You could completely redo those. In fact, you could make up fictional ones. Again, it's not completely in keeping with the brand of the getaway, but it's something you could certainly do. Or like we did with the cars, you could just re-license those or try to re-license those brands. But the big problem is, is that Sony don't really have a driving open world engine. Now there is the Horizon engine that Death Stranding used as well, and Death Stranding does have some vehicular gameplay in there, but it's nothing on the scale of what you need for the getaway. A huge streaming city with a ton of characters and AI running around and vehicles driving with gunplay. There'd have to be some additions made to that engine. Now I don't know much about the engine, but what we can see from the games, it does do open world open spaces extremely well, but how would it cope with a city? So the first challenge here is that you'd have to take that engine and start building in some of the features that would be missing. Gunplay, cover mechanics, driving, a new physics engine potentially. The other thing then Sony have to cope with is the cost of building a remake. It won't be cheap to rebuild the getaway. To do it any kind of justice, you're gonna have to go and capture London again. Now there are a lot more techniques available for you to do this a lot quicker than we used to do it. We had cameras and we went round to every single building and took photographs. We then had to bring those in, get rid of the perspective, clean up the textures, and then map it to the geometry. There is 3D scanning available now, and so there's maybe some technology that they can take from that, and there's maybe even companies that offer that kind of technology so they could map that. Again, licensing is something they're gonna to have to deal with, but they could remove all the shop fronts and change them for more generic ones or made up shop fronts that they have. So a remake is possible, but it's super expensive. And I think it's not gonna be a low end remake they're gonna to have to do for the getaway. It's gonna be expensive just from the licensing and the tech needed to map out a city that is so accurate on the scale of London. So the possibility is there for a remake, but I don't think the appetite will be there from Sony. Before we get into what a continuation of the Getaway series could possibly be, I wanted to talk about the Getaway Online. It was a small project that not much is known about and it's something that I worked on. I moved off of the Getaway full fat version and moved onto online. There was also a team working on the PSP version and a team working on the PlayStation 3 version. Our task on Getaway Online was to build a getaway environment that existed on Sony's PlayStation 2 platform using its online service. And for that, we had to completely rebuild the engine and how we went about creating London. It had a completely visual overhaul. We went for a small texture-based modular approach. The city wouldn't be a one-to-one -one mapping of London, but more an inspired by London. Everything would be pixel drawn textures rather than photographic. And it was built in a way that it was modular. The city would be made up of generic tiles that we could randomly put together. And the same went for environments. We would build these environments modularly, modular pieces. So that every time you went into them, we could have a randomly generated environment. And the whole premise behind the game is that you existed online with a number of other players. You would meet up with your friends in pubs or gentlemen clubs, and these would act as online lobbies. These were kind of matchmaking lobbies. Here you'd be able to play mini games, do online chat, and eventually go off into the game. I think you could also buy weapons and gear and upgrade your vehicles as well in these hubs that we'd built, these lobbies that you had. You would then drive around the city committing various crimes and you could plan heists and this is where the modular interiors would come in and you'd have this procedurally generated or randomly generated missions and environments that you could go and commit crimes in and do all the getaway stuff that you loved. Now ultimately, the PlayStation 2's online network wasn't a huge success and the amount of effort and time it was gonna to take to get us up and running meant that the PS3 would probably already be out. And so it was decided to cancel the game. But the team got together because we felt we had something very special. And we put together a social online network. 
We took the lobby aspect of the getaway, the bit that we felt was the strongest, and we proposed something where players could still come together, they could still chat, play games together, and then leave and play other PlayStation Online games. Now, initially, we named this game Hub, and it grew into PlayStation Home. It was prototyped still on the PlayStation 2. We used all the getaway assets that we had made and we created a fictional online world where gamers could come, meet in lobbies and then play mini games and eventually go off onto other PlayStation 3 games. With the help of Phil Harrison, it got the green light and eventually became PlayStation Home. So what about the possibility of continuing the getaway series? Now, to be honest, I think this is the most likely scenario. There's a huge opportunity here to reset expectations for the franchise. You could take it down a more uncharted route, a more structured approach where you didn't have to build out an entire city. Building out these open world cities takes a huge amount of effort and time to do. And there are very few studios that have the budget and time to achieve this. Now, Sony could be one of those studios, but they'd have to be certain of the success of a brand new getaway that was in the same vein as the originals. Whereas if they went down more of an uncharted route, if they lent into the strength of the getaway's story and doubled down on some of the pioneering aspects that the getaway brought, things like its cover shoot mechanic, if it brought that back and set it in this kind of uncharted genre, then I think there's a real opportunity that there could be a stunning getaway and a getaway series that could be redefined in a new genre, a new image for the series. Something that lent on the things that people loved about the getaway. It's grittiness, the realness of this game. You could still have that real world environment. You could have a sense of open world, but just scaled down. And this means that you could get the quality into the game that's needed without necessarily going whole hog full investment that you'd need to build out a full original getaway franchise. And I think this is where Sony could succeed. Taking a studio like Naughty Dog, or at least the Naughty Dog engine, and applying that to the getaway brand could see it be extremely successful and something that fans will love and could definitely improve on the original gameplay mechanics that were so pioneering in some ways. The Getaway was a really tough game to build even back in 2000. Trying to take on something of that scale nowadays is going to be really expensive and I think this along with the licensing is the thing that's most prohibitive for us seeing a getaway. Like I said earlier, I think the most likely option here is that we see the getaway come back in a different type of genre. We saw the London studio make a getaway-esque VR experience, and so maybe there's an opportunity to bring the getaway brand back. But for me, to see the getaway come back in a more uncharted formula would be so amazing. I think it really leans into the strengths of the getaway. You can still have your car chases, but they can be more refined, visually impressive, constantly exciting. You can have fantastic cover shooting mechanics, an amazing story, and you can build out a world that people will love and still feel nostalgic for. The getaway is close to a lot of people, as it is clear by the number of comments that I get on this channel all the time. Now, just to be clear, before any press jump onto this story, I've heard nothing. This is just my view of what it would take to get an HD version out, a remake version out, or to continue the Getaway series. If you've enjoyed what you've seen in today's show, then why not join us every Monday? You can get a notification about all the new Retro Gamer Boy shows by clicking on a little bell just below this video. And we've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos, two of which you can find over here.